It is quite common for people to have allergies to certain things they come across in their lives, ranging from food to fabric. Dogs are much like us in that regard, since they can develop allergies to things too. Dogs that are suffering an allergic reaction will display symptoms such as sneezing, coughing, wheezing, vomiting, watery eyes, or rashes. Skin irritation can also cause them to lick or chew the affected area. When it comes to dog allergies, the symptoms may only appear at certain times of the year. Seasonal allergies can be brought on by pollen from trees, grass, and other plants. Dog allergies can also appear in the summertime because that's when all sorts of bugs start reappearing. It's a well-known fact that insects like fleas and mosquitoes will bite virtually any living organism. Your dog may not have an allergic reaction to their saliva at first. However, a sensitivity can develop over time, causing the skin to get itchy and possibly turn red. In order to prevent allergies in dogs that are brought on by fleas or ticks, it's best not to rely on the good old flea collar anymore. Newer products that are on the market are much more effective and much easier to use too. Frontline and Advantage are probably two of the most popular of these products. It may be a little bit harder for you to pinpoint the problem if dog allergies have become a problem throughout the whole year. The list of possible causes is quite extensive. Here are some of the most common. If you have other pets in the home, you may want to start with that possibility. Your dog can be allergic to your cat or any other pet that you have around your home, like rabbits or birds. Allergies to cats are the most common though, since they're highly popular pets and also produce potent allergen that sticks around the environment. If you suspect that dog allergies are brought on because of other pets, then you'll have two basic options assuming that you don't want to get rid of one of your pets. An effective solution is to ensure that you wash your pets on a regular basis. If you keep the fur clean and free of allergens, then allergies shouldn't be much of a problem. Another solution is to invest in a HEPA air filter to ensure that the air circulating throughout your home is free of allergens. Food can also bring about allergies in dogs, although it's not very common. However, some dogs develop an insensitivity to certain ingredients in their food or suffer an allergic reaction altogether. Common offending ingredients include corn, wheat, and soy. Dog allergies caused by food don't appear as soon as you start that particular food regimen. Instead, they will develop over time as your dog is constantly exposed to the allergen. Food trials will help determine what's causing the problems. Your vet will likely suggest that these trials last for six weeks at least since they take time to appear as mentioned. Finally, dog allergies can also be caused by mold growing in your home. This is definitely something that you won't want to deal with since you can easily be affected too. Some types of mold, particularly black mold, are very dangerous to have growing in your home, especially if there is a lot of it. Human environments are particularly inviting to mold growth. The kitchen and the bathroom usually have the most moisture in your home, so there are two rooms that commonly have problems. 
Even if Mo doesn't give you problems with allergies in dogs, you'll still want to get rid of it as soon as possible.